this type of large dia particularly above 24 inch size fittings are made in two equal hubs and then both equal hubs are joined by welding from outside and inside each hub of the fittings is made by pressing the plate in the die this type of fittings are called pressed and welded type rod fittings this is one pressed and welded type large dia t and this is one pressed and welded type large dia elbow both these carbon steel fittings are rod fittings as per ASTM A234 grade WPB W and dimensions as per ASME B16.9. The term rod fitting means fittings should be made by at least one forming operation. In this case, the forming operation is pressing the plate to give the shape of the fittings. Now let us see how this forming operation is done. Now pressing of plate is being done to make one 90 degree elbow. Plate has been cut in carved shape to get one half of the elbow and the plate is being pressed in the die using hydraulic press. Now the pressing is almost complete and plate has been formed to the shape of one half of elbow. But after first pressing, shape and dimensions may not be perfect. So the formed plate is pressed once again to get exact shape and dimensions of elbow. Now the formed plate is being pressed once again in the die. These are the formed halves of 90 degree elbow kept for making complete elbow after joining two halves. Now two halves of elbow are being welded. Then DP testing of weld joint is done and then beveling of end is done and all oil joints are grinded smooth. Thereafter, entire length of longitudinal oil joint is 100% radiographed. In this way, one large dia pressed and welded elbow is made. In similar way, large dia pressed and welded T and reducers are made. Only shape of the die is different.